Hey, it's Zach from Pensacola, Florida. Tonight we're gonna fry up some southern fried catfish using my new Instant Pot Vortex Air Fryer. I really like this thing. Uh, before I used it though, I had to run it two cycles of 20 minutes on the air fryer mode to kind of get that new smell out of it. But once I ran two cycles, it's 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 fine, it's, it's good. Uh, this has a lot of function, I really like it. But tonight I'm gonna use the air fryer function to fry up some catfish. Now in the south, we fry our catfish and cornmeal. Any other fish we fry, we use a, a different, like a fry batter, but catfish has got to be cornmeal. Uh, I don't egg, run mine in egg wash. To me, it, it adds too much uh, batter, makes it harder to cook, makes the fish harder to turn out right. So we don't use, we don't use an egg wash. We take our catfish, we make sure it's dry, and I take a little Ziploc bag here, and I'll put my my season in there, that's how you get the, t the flavor on the fish, is you, the cornmeal and the season. Um, I like to use the Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning, um, whatever other season you like. Some people use uh, lemon pepper, that turns out good. I like this because it's got the garlic and the salt already in it. It's got a really good taste to it, so that's what we do. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Get it to the taste that you want. Put just a little bit more. That's good. We're gonna start seeing a little bit of it in the cornmeal. It's about good. Just about right. All right. So I've got about a pound of catfish here. We cut it into nugget size. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna make sure it's evenly coated. Again, if you run through egg first, that'd be all just thick and clumpy. That's what you don't want. All right. Got my two little frying racks right here. I'm gonna just start lining them up. See how evenly coated they are? Again, I only use cornmeal. We'll go ahead and put that in there. I'll get this one ready. I only use cornmeal when we're Fried catfish. Anything else? I use the Zatarans or the Cajun, uh, the uh, Slappy Mama fish fry. All right, I think I got everything. Nope. One more. Wash my hands real quick. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out just for a minute. And it's going to have to preheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the air fry function at 400 degrees. And I'm going to do 11 minutes. So I'm going to hit start. And then it's going to preheat. And when it comes ready, it's going to actually tell you, you know, insert food. So when that, hat, when that comes on, I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, so it took a few minutes to pre-cook, then it actually gave me a, a, a notification to insert food. So what I'm gonna do, I got one rack down here. Got one rack up here. All right, it's gonna automatically kick back on and cook the 11 minutes. Now, about halfway through, it's gonna give me, it's gonna give me an alert to turn the food. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this, and I'm gonna take the bottom rack, put it up top, take the top rack, put it up bottom, and it's gonna be good. Southern fried catfish. All right, we're done. It's uh, put on 11 minutes. 
about halfway through, a little more than halfway through, it gave me the it gave me the uh, notification to turn it. So I, I put the top rack on the bottom, bottom rack on the top, and it's done. I'm gonna show you what we got. And that is crispy, got a good flake to it. It's a southern fried catfish and the Instant Pot Vortex Air Fryer. All right, we'll see y'all next time.